just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oklahoma's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you play them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage, and, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up with and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. you got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great Still way to stall out a drive. From their own 27-yard line, second down. but he can't shake the defense. About four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game, and I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's down. bound to happen occasionally. From their own 47-yard line, first down. Got some open field. Nice run to the outside. Six yards there on the option keeper. That brings up second and nine. at the 44. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. Great concentration to haul it in. He's taken down at the 25. That makes it first and 10. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. From the 26 yard line, it's second down. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. They lose three yards there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Here's the 11th play of the drive. The Sooners had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He launches one for the end zone. Almost picked off. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. It's fourth down. 
It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Oklahoma is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's scrambling. Brought down to the open field. That'll make it second and four. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Tackle at the 40-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. out to his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 38-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. Roger, Roger. That Roger, makes it Roger, second Roger, and eight. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's at the 30, brought down at the 22. From the 19 yard line, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. Nice play to take the three-point lead here early in the first quarter. The question now is if they can build off this momentum later in the game. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 77-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And down he goes at the 27. to the 40. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. 
Gets to around the 42. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Oklahoma State's up by four. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Red two. Fires out to his wideout, and he's level at the 40. around the 33 yard line makes the catch but just not enough for the first yeah they're going to come up a little bit short here nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down he's at the 20 inside the 10 and he's all the way in for the touchdown That did more than just put six points on the board. It takes a lot of pressure off the offensive coordinator when the man under center can show that he's a dual threat. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those six runs. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a five. That brings him second and five. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, start offense. offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. wide throws middle to the tight end and he's taken down at about the 49 and he hits him hard at the 41 yard line Spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires it out. That's a great tackle at the 30-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Going for it all to the end zone. Incomplete. Almost picked off. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. Yeah, fooled no one there, Brad. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. And he 
tackles him hard at the 17. circumstances, confusing them with the option and then getting the football into the hands of the running back. He makes the PAT. Oklahoma State to kick. He sends this one deep. goes into the end zone down for a touchback I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer and that's exactly what we just saw one team scores a touchdown the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board this is getting exciting with one quarter down I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads might be neck and neck the whole way nice run up the middle here they come and they got it he just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down boy excellent play by the defense here a few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open from their own 25 yard line third down Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. And he is drilled. The 33 yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That'll make it fourth and two. And he muffed it. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field at me, but the first job of a return man is to catch the ball. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma State is up by four. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 45. Zips it to the back. Tackle at the 48. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he throws it away. On the throw, incomplete pass. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. And they're 
stop short, and they'll turn it over. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Pressured and brought down. It's a big-time effort sacked by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. tailback on the screen they bring him down in the backfield a great first half comes to a close the Cowboys lead it by four hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Davis David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively. How about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Oklahoma State holds a four-point lead. He scrambled. Under pressure, he lost the ball. It scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 25. Here's a quick throw. They can't connect. Incomplete. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed him. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. 
Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 47-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Oklahoma State is up four. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He airs it out. Doesn't get there. On those deep routes, as a quarterback, you've really got to get it out there and at least give your guy a chance to go up and fight for it. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. Going deep, lays it out there. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. Oklahoma State is up by four. Makes it out to about the ten. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. out to about the nine yard line. football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Oklahoma State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made at about the 35. 
That makes it first and ten. ten. He's got it with room to run. And he's level at the 48-yard line. He makes it out to midfield. He's wrapped up for the sack. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's tackled at the 49. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space. And I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Fires out to his wideout. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Intercepted. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. About a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slam. the middle for a nice game. They come out on an empty backfield. Over the middle, got his tight end, and he hits him hard at the 38. He's at the 30. Quick throw out to the receiver. Gets to about the 24-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, Oklahoma State in front, 21-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Caught open field. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. Fourth down, they'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. 
And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Here comes the pressure. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 41. That's a deal with 12 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Five, two, three, nine! Gets to about the 41 yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle at the 44. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Just under three to go in regulation. He lets it fly. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Brought down at the 32-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. pickup Oklahoma will take their first time out of the half he's tackled at the 18 yard line super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down he's really a good looking ball carrier we've got a first and ten ball on the 18 he makes it to the 18-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Oklahoma's out of timeouts. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. is on the field. They'll try for three points. A little over a minute in the game. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oklahoma's coaches are going to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work. The players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. They'll bring him down at the 48. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. Check, check. That makes it first and ten. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle made right around the 34. Spikes the ball. all you want and they were good today but the defense was better they come up with a play of the day and that'll lead to the victory and this one's all but wrapped up the Cowboys with the victory 27 10 Kirk go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry this was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup and boy was it fun to watch things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time.